Well, it kind of looks a little complicated, but that's because it is. It is all taped off and ready for painting. But it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be one of these deals where I can just start spraying and spraying until the very end. It's one of these deals where I have to lift up this a little bit and spray underneath it and hold it until it dries a little bit. Then I'm going to have to move this over to the side, away from here. Then uh, up here in the... This is going to have to be moved out of the way. It's going to be quite a process. I'll have to do a lot of moving around. But anyway, I think we're about ready. Let's go ahead and uh, start shooting this first. I'm painting it with some uh, Rust-Oleum Automotive uh, Gray Primer. And uh, it, it really does help a lot. You should always prime these things before you paint them, uh, no matter what color you use. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. That finishes up the primer on this thing. I'll let it dry for about an hour or so. I've got some other things I need to do. And then I'll come back and we'll shoot it with some of this uh, Rust-Oleum epoxy uh, appliance enamel. This silver stuff. It worked really well on the last radio I did. I hope I got every spot covered. You know how it is though. You know whenever you take off all the masking tape there's always this one little spot. Oh, I, did, I didn't get it. But guess what? If that happens I'm not going to have nightmares over it. This is the setting. All year round it wears work clothes. On holidays it dresses up. To most people Christmas brings happiness and prayer. To some it brings heartbreak. Then my job gets tougher. I'm a cop. It was Thursday, December 22nd. We were working the night watch out of Homicide Division. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Lorman. My name's Friday. We'd gotten the call that a nine-year-old boy was missing from his home. The evidence pointed to foul play. We had to check it out. For some reason, the old epoxy appliance paint uh, something must have happened to it inside the can. I don't know, but it's coming out more of a uh, coarse texture. I'm not so certain I like that. So I think what I better do is stop right here and go downtown and buy a brand new can and see if that won't improve it. If not, then I'm just going to go ahead and finish up with this can and leave it sort of a, you know, sort of a coarse texture. It won't hurt it any. It just it's not quite as silver as I wanted it, and it's not quite as smooth as I would like it, but, you know, what the heck. I'll do what I have to do. Twenty-two caliber empty cartridge casing. I marked it for evidence. Doherty went on to tell us that he and his partner Levinson had talked with the neighbors. They could tell them nothing. He said they put out a missing broadcast on the boy, and that the mother was at a loss to explain the boy's whereabouts. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, I wound up going with Rust-Oleum uh, metallic silver on it. It's a little bit lighter in color than the epoxy appliance paint, or the Rust-Oleum epoxy appliance paint, but I figured, you know, why should I buy a whole new can when I already had this metallic uh, silver there, and it's also Rust-Oleum. Frank and I questioned the boy's mother, a Mrs. Ruth Johnstone, a woman in her early 40s. She seemed fairly calm under the circumstances. Before I untape everything, I want to paint two other items. I want to paint this transformer, which is the vertical, I think it's the vertical output transformer. And I also want to paint the power transformer. But I don't want to take uh, this blue painter's tape that I'm taping things off with. I don't want to stick it down here on the chassis I just painted. Because, sure enough, some of it will lift off. So the best way to do it, I've found, is if you want to paint something that's on a chassis and you don't want to put any tape down you make some cardboard strips like this and then slip them underneath the bottom of the transformer all the way around all the way around one here one here one here I obviously uh, can't get in there to do it so I slipped one down in 
it's a strip I just slip it down in and then put it up underneath and then here's another one that I slipped underneath you just cut your cut it and then slip it up there underneath like so and then tape your paper to the cardboard well, hi Captain it's Friday now what we just left already if you I tape this thing off uh, it always seems to me that when I'm all done some of the black paint will show up on the chassis and I'll have no idea how it got there I had you know you think you got every crack and crevice covered now right here is a situation you know I came up and I, and I can't get any tape down in that hole right there because uh, there's a part of the chassis is exposed so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and stick this up in there up underneath the transformer again little strip of cardboard and then just take some of this and taper down and that'll cover it. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and prime it with the uh, automotive light gray. Then I'll go ahead and spray it with the black. So let's see how that goes. Joe, yeah. the Johnstone kid has been found. He's home, Sergeant. He's come home. Thank God he's all right. Well, where's he been? Did he tell you? No, he didn't. He's acting so strange. I've never seen him like this. How do you mean, Mrs. Johnstone? Well, he just came in the front door, said, hello, Mom, sat down in the chair and stared at the floor. Won't talk to his father or me. Mind if we talk to him? Well, no, go ahead. I asked him about the little Martin boy, but he wouldn't tell me a thing. Where is he now? In the dining room. Looks all right, Joe. Yeah. Son. Son, this is a police officer. He wants to talk to you. All right, that should just about take care of the primer. Let me get over in here. You know, you don't want to just paint directly on bare metal. Uh, you should always, if possible, use a good quality primer. It, it, it enables the enamel or whatever it is you're painting with to adhere better. If I just sprayed this old black uh, enamel right on that transformer, probably within a couple of months, the heat from the TV or just general weather conditions, it would start flaking off. And then we'd have a big problem on our hands again with an ugly transformer. And, you know, we can't live with these kinds of things. Use that primer. Stanley, there's another little boy up the street who hasn't come home. You know where he is? His father and mother are worried about him, too, just like your folks were. You've got to help us find him, son. I killed him. I killed Steve. With the 22. We were only playing, but I killed him. How do you know you killed him? Maybe he's only hurt now, isn't that it? No, he's dead. I know he's dead. The gun went off. We forgot we put bullets in there. Where is he, Stanley? I hit him. I was scared. I didn't want anybody to find him. I don't want to go to jail. Where'd you hide him, son? Out and back under some leaves. Alright, let's crank up on this black here and see what happens. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Down here in the bottom a little bit closer. I think that might do the trick. Stanley led us to a small clump of trees in back of the house. There we found the body of Stephen Martin. There was a single bullet wound in his chest just below his heart. He was dead. With the power transformer painted, we now have to move on to... Uh, let me see, this transformer right here, I believe it is. And this thing here is painted gold. So let's open it up and take a look at it. Basically what I did was fold all the newspapers that were around this thing. I just folded them back over the top of the black power transformer. Just kind of taped them in place. And then taped off the top and bottom of this. I'll go ahead and prime it and paint it gold. 
uh, I won't be able to get to the bottom. It's just it's just none. The wires won't bend up that far. It's as far as I can go. It won't allow me to, and I'm not going to ruin the wires in an attempt to do it. I'll do it the very best I can. Some primer, some gold paint. I think it'll look nice. Look a lot nicer than it is now. It has been stripped down as far as it'll go. So I think gold paint will help a lot. I knew my folks were going to give me the gun for Christmas. I knew where it was and I got it. There was a box of bullets with it. Were you pointing the gun at Stephen? No, sir. No, sir, I wasn't. <laughs> it was Steve's turn to play with it. I was chasing him and he tripped over that stump there and the gun hit him in his stomach and went off. Why do you think you killed him if you're telling us the truth? I'm telling the truth. Honest, that's the truth. All right, I believe you, son, but why do you think you killed him? It was my gun. Steve would still be alive if I didn't go get it. Should have waited till Christmas. It's all my fault. Where have you been all this time? Right here. With Steve. What were you doing, son? I was praying. I was praying for God to make you alive again. <laughs> That takes care of that. This, uh, there was some black tar-like substance on both sides of this thing. Uh, I suppose if I scrubbed and dug with a screwdriver hard enough and everything, I could have gotten it all off. But I decided to just go ahead and leave it on there and uh, just spray over the top of it after I gave it a good cleaning with a lacquer thinner. On December 24th, the coroner's inquest was held at the county morgue, Hall of Justice, City and County of Los Angeles, State of California. In a moment, the results of that inquest. That's it for now with this chassis. Uh, I've got a little bit of overspray here and there that snuck through the various cracks in the paper as I knew what happened. I thought I had every crack covered. I went over and over 50 times and still the paint will figure out a way to get up in there. And uh, next time we'll go ahead and take the cover off this tuner and see what's inside there. Meanwhile, we'll just call this a video a wrap. I appreciate everybody watching and I hope to see you next time. This is John. As you can see, we're making some progress in the corner on the deck. So when you guys come over to visit, you won't have to worry about getting your clothes dirty. The coroner's jury ruled that the death of Stephen Martin was the result of an accident.